One of the things I've been working on hard here the last couple of years is the path to growing 300 bushel corn, and not just in good years, but consistently growing 300 bushel corn. And I don't believe that it's going to happen in 30 inch rows because the plants are competing for sunlight, water, and nutrients. But I do believe it's going to take a change in genetics and that the new genetics that we're going to see coming down in the future here very quickly are going to be plants that are shorter in height. They're not going to have much of a tassel. They're going to have upright leaves and they're going to have a smaller ear. I don't think we'll grow 300 bushel corn with two ears on a stalk. I don't think we're going to grow 300 bushel corn with big ears on a stalk. And I don't think we're going to grow consistently 300 bushel corn with half pound ears because it's just too much grain for the stalk to hold and we just can't get to that 300 bushel level. So our dream is to go into either 15 or into 12 inch rows. We're going to use hybrids that increase yield as you increase population and that's going to be the ones that are shorter in height and they're only going to produce a third of a pound per stalk and at 51,000 times a third of a pound is exactly 300 bushel corn to the acre. The thing that's unique about it though is that in 15 inch rows at 51,000 we're going to have plants about every 8 inches and some people right now even in 30 inch rows are having plants that are 6 inches from each other. So I think we have to be in 15 inch rows and even on down into 12 inch rows at 51,000 the plants are 10 inches apart. Corn is a grass, and you don't see people with their front yards in rows, you don't see cow pastures in rows, you don't see hay fields in rows, and the most abnormal thing you can do to a corn plant is put it in a row, because it makes it compete with its neighbor for sunlight, water, and nutrient. The path to consistently growing 300 bushel corn has got to be the combination of new genetics that are smaller plants, smaller ears, more of them, in combination with narrow rows and we can almost get to the point where we're using Mother Nature's natural crop canopy to shut down the weeds so that we only need one little shot of chemicals at the beginning of the season. And we also are going to do a nice job of controlling erosion because we're in a no-till environment. And also we've got plants solid seeded just like somebody's front yard is and that's going to produce our natural weeds.